the dawn of the mega systems is the rise of Amazon, Facebook, Google, Sinoweibo. These huge mega systems, these corporations of today and tomorrow who are making consumers' lives so much easier. It's where we, it's where we socialize, it's where we shop, it's where we meet the person that we'll spend the rest of our lives with. It's, it's where we keep up with old friends. It's where we, um, we live our lives increasingly for brands. The dawn of this me- these megasystems, the new world of these megasystems, means that brands have to, firstly, they have to be in the megasystems. They have to work out their strategy to be most effective within the megasystems because that's where people are. But at the same time, there's a huge problem there because it's the, it's the mega system, the, the mega brand, which has the relationship with the customer. And what they have done is effectively commoditized everybody else's offering. If you think about information, for example, you don't go to necessarily the BBC or the New York Times now. You go to Google and look for something. And you might then go to the BBC or the New York Times, but they are less important to you than Google. The same with Amazon. Instead of necessarily going direct to a a retailer, you go to this huge e-tailer and then go to the person that has the best offer for you. So there's a real challenge to maintain brand and therefore connection with consumer. So these mega systems will become more and more powerful as our lives become more and more digital. The opportunity for them in the future is really powerful. And because through their fantastically clever algorithms and using today's best data scientists, who instead of spending their time on working out how we can get to the moon, are spending their time working out what we will be doing next and therefore making life so much easier for us, we as people will spend more time within these mega systems. They will become more powerful. This is the challenge of the era of the mega systems.